you know, the fight scene is not only the most brutal thing I've ever seen two sisters do when they're biting chunks out of each other. So cool. Fair warning that you might not have much of an appetite after this. Well, we certainly hope you won't, anyway. In this video, we are taking a bite out of Julia Ducourneau's gory masterpiece, Raw, a bloody coming-of-age story about a pair of cannibal sisters. In a particularly charged moment, brewing tension between the sisters explodes into a nasty fight rife with violence. It's memorable, not just because of the sisters' ferocity, but the way in which it ends with the two arm-in-arm in in alliance against their frightened classmates. Here to talk about it is director Nita Manzor, whose film Polite Society also explores the complications of sisterhood and femininity through a genre lens. Menzor's film through action versus Du Corneau's horror. The scene that I've selected is one of my all time favorite scenes. It's a short one, but it's one of the two sisters at their kind of worst when they're kind of head to head fighting, and it's just brutal. The film Raw is one of my all time favorite films. Um, I just think it depicts a sister relationship so wonderfully and uses horror, body horror, particularly to show that kind of physical, visceral relationship between two sisters, but also, you know, explores femininity and the truth of femininity as being ugly at times, of being gory at times, of being dark and twisted. And it's so, you know, I felt so seen. Raw's resonance lies in its brutal femininity, and anyone with sisters can attest to how vicious that relationship can be. Let's take a look. I think it really spoke to a truth of what it is like to be, you know, in a relationship with your sister. And when you are not getting along, it can be the most violent emotionally. Um, And that emotional and violence in this film is writ large, you know, through kind of horror and gore. And it's brilliant when they're biting pieces out of each other. I was just like, yes, I don't know. It's a kind of showing femininity in a way that's gruesome, in a way that shows the kind of ugliness that I feel really inspired by, because as women, I sometimes feel we're always having to perform a sort of perfect image or being, you know, quiet, you know, not upsetting the apple cart. And this film just does not care for that, which is why, you know, for me, this film is everything. And the scene in particular is, Chef's kiss. No, I I totally agree. I think our protagonist like has this family history basically of cannibalism that like runs through her family. And I yeah. think it's a really great allegory for like how nobody outside of your family, outside of your siblings, like shares more with you, but can like hurt you in like the most 
personal specific way and i thought that yeah. fa the fight between the two of them like captures that really brilliantly yeah it's perfect and you see you know the fight scene is not only the most br brutal thing i've ever seen two sisters do when they're biting chunks out of each other and i was like this is so cool it's so violent they're so angry but the scene ends with them arm in arm walking away together whilst everyone is watching and that's also one of the things it's a scene where it's being witnessed by a university campus full of of students and so it's almost like the truth revealed of these two sisters of their kind of violent nature and it for me it felt like the truth revealed sometimes of when you're a woman and you're sort of behaving with rage or anger or showing emotions which are supposedly accepted in society and then and it, and it being witnessed there's something of it being witnessed by others and being kind of like gawked at and being sort of yeah people kind of backing away and cowering from it as, as though their their true nature is ugly and too much also felt very truthful and resonant i mean there are so many levels in which i feel this scene and even this film just really showed the truth of femininity i always think of this french philosopher virginie dupont who's got a theory called the king kong theory where she says women are more like king kong than kate moss and I feel like this film speaks to that so well. And, and it's definitely a truth that I felt, you know, being a woman, but also as an artist and making my film Polite Society, I wanted to show the sort of violence, the dark feminine, the kind of the ugly side of sisterhood as well as the, the light side. Oh, this is me! <laughs> Bullshit! The Lena that I know would never give up on her art! No, boo-hoo, she did! Why? Because I'm not good enough! Seeing the film, it, it really, it resonated with me too. Like, I think there's a lot of fascination, you know, on Twitter, online with sort of the female rage movie and yeah. the violence and the, the incapability of being able to stop yourself. This is a compulsion. This is something they need to do. Something that struck me specifically about the scene is like when they're both biting each other's arms at the same time and they have this long moment where they look at each other and there's anger and there's rage and there's frustration and hatred in their eyes. And then you slowly see it start to fall into this weird sort of forgiveness, this really twisted, recognition that they have between each other. I thought that was a really power yeah. powerful moment. No, I think you're spot on. There's like love in their eyes as they're, as well as anger. It's so, it's got so many layers going at the same time. And it just that kind of, of evolution in a moment from fury to love just felt so truthful of how you can bounce from wanting to kill your sister. But as soon as someone else tries, it starts it on with a, you're like her protector again. It's just like, it, you know, it can flip on a dime and that was something that I feel this film really captured in that moment. And and there are so many things and you know when they're being restrained, they're being held like they're animals. And again, it's the idea of this, the, the sort of woman unhinged as like wild and feral and and sort of speaking to that was also like something, again, I haven't seen much in cinema and she was just, just showing it through this incredible scene. Yeah, the physical acting that they're doing is so good. I think there are times, especially like growing up as a woman, there are times when you feel sort of inhuman because there there's just so much expectation placed upon you in a way that it's like if you falter if you don't meet those expectations you're looked down upon in this way that's like there's something wrong with you so i think mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. it's to watch them move like you said i think the word feral is so perfect to describe this moment because they're just it's the way they move. It's almost, they're so possessed by something. And I personally have never taken a bite out of my sister's cheek when we fought, but <laughs> there's something about feeling like an animal when you're at your angriest and not knowing yeah. where to put it. Yeah, and it's so interesting what you say is like, as women, you know, sometimes anger is not for us. It's not allowed, We it's ugly, and then you end up sort of bottling it or hiding it or pushing it down. So when you see a film that shows female rage and anger and it just allows it to exist in its most feral, in its mo most kind of wild self, it, it's, you know, I end up feeling seen by that moment where they're biting each other's arm because, you know, anger is something we're often told not to show. Um, and so it's... It's exciting and I'm also so excited by, you know, using genre to explore femininity and again, you know, using horror, you know, you think of another film like Ginger Snaps, which also has an incredible sister relationship and again uses sort of the werewolf trope of like body changing, hair growing, oh, you're just going through puberty, it's like, no, she's becoming a werewolf, it's like genius, it's so genius. We're all 
almost not even related anymore. You're f***ed. And, and this is, you know, it excites me when genre is used to show you know what it, the experience of being a young woman a teenage girl and for me it was exciting to get to use act the action genre um in my film you know we action is so typically for men but in a way it's so perfect for the teenage girl because to be a teenage girl is such a violent experience not only is your body changing in a painful way growing breasts and growing hair and becoming different you know and getting a gory ass period it's all so physical but then you're also kind of being treated differently by society you know you're becoming objectified and often as i felt i felt kind of an alienation from my own body and that's why i was really excited to use action because you know my characters are in full control of their physical selves and they're fully unified and again it is an exciting to use a tool to explore femininity that isn't often done and that's why I like a film like raw that uses horror body horror to show sisterhood and show you know coming of age feminine experiences just honestly just blew me away i do think this correlation of like womanhood with cannibalism is really interesting or like sort of womanhood with consumption and like the need to consume is so interesting and it's not something that like you said is like rage isn't something that really feels for us all the time and so it's just to, to see the woman is feral I think it's it's something that raw does so well because mm -hmm. it's, it's just something that we don't often see and I love what you said about consumption because there's so many scenes where she's like shouldn't eat the thing shouldn't eat the thing and that beautiful scene which was my second scene I was where she you know eats her sister fucking finger like a <laughs> chicken wing and I'm like that is so good yeah but it's true you know as a woman of that age you're constantly kind of watching what you're eating and you want to eat but you're told you shouldn't because to, you got to look a certain way so food becomes this thing in your head that's huge so like in a way for me when i was seeing that cannibalism it was representing what a woman of her age was you know having to restrain yourself and be good and be this proper girl and but actually she's just like wanting to devour everyone in sight and it's just so great when she has that moment and the score kicks in, okay, that's a, this is a totally different scene, but damn, it's a good one. So good. I was like, yes, you chow down, girl. You eat. It's so connected to their fight because it's like the first time she really consumes human flesh, it's the flesh of her sister. Like that. Right. And then it's like when we see them fight and her sister takes the bite out of her cheek and we learn later that their mother has the same problem and she like will take bites out of their father. It's, it's this weird combination of both frustration and anger and hatred, but also like this, this love, like this overwhelming love to like want to sort of almost take in the person that you love because you just can't you're so emotionally and physically overwhelmed by how much you love them too like i think yeah. that's like there's an element of that too uh. and like at the end of the film you know when when the older sister's in prison and the younger sister justine she puts her cheek to the to the glass where the bites out and the other puts her finger to the to the glass where her finger's been cut off and they like kiss each other but through the wounds that they've inflicted on each other and i'm like it was so poignant because it's like again the kind of closeness between the love and the hatred the fury and the protection it is all just intermingled constantly in this film and it really felt so truthful of a sister sibling relationship um more than anyone any other film i've seen yeah i want to bring up what happens just before the fight because i think that mm -hmm. adds this this other layer to it basically she finds out that her older sister was sort of taunting her while she was drunk she's like taunting her with a dead body in front of of like oh their classmates and their classmates have been looking at her like she's an exhibit like she's a zoo animal and she feels so betrayed and that's when she goes after her it's it's again getting back to like the ways that your siblings can hurt you because you know here's her sister revealing this thing about the both of them but really just her yeah that's so so true and like you know when i first watched this film i just thought it was such a cruel act on the behalf of the older sister in a way i found believable but i was just like where is it coming Coming from and then watching it again um for the for the fourth time i was like oh of course because all the the times justine the younger sister has been like you disgust me you're doing all this while her older sister's just trying to show her the ways of how to like be as a cannibal and the young sister's like i'm not like you i'm better than you i'm like oh yeah she's doing the younger sister i'm better than you thing the whole time of course she's gonna get a video just humiliating her so and it was cool that that 
that turning point when you know Alex humiliates Justine in this way that's public and with that video of her taunting her it allowed us to see Justine snap out of being the good girl finally and go for broke with us you know run after her sister and like attack and I was like yeah you know finally let it she sort of release the shackles of sort of being the perfect student being the perfect girl being the sort of pretty and all these different things she just was like I don't care who's seeing me I'm gonna kick my sister's ass and it was also just like just that that the first time the character goes full release and it was brilliant especially because it was towards her sister and it was you know it was still in that kind of very personal space such an interesting way of looking at it because I hadn't thought about it that way of, of this being the sisters the older sister's way of of really sort of leveling the playing field for the both of them but yeah and I just I mean back to polite society you know mm -hmm. they they have I know we spoke about this at FanFest but it's the, like they have that fight together and there's just something about seeing an older sister really ha like I don't know feeling as though they need to teach their younger sister a lesson <laughs> Non mais tu vas pas commencer l'année sur un abandon là tu t'affiches and there you have it. Maybe it's an unexpected pair of films, but in raw and polite society, do Corneau and Manzor truly push the boundaries of the genres they're working in to craft these incisive observations of sisterhood and femininity? And if it was up to Manzor? I love the film Raw. You should go see it. I hope there's a double bill between Raw and Polite Society as two sister genre movies. Um, that would be dope. <laughs>